Welcome to Agribusiness with Dr. G. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the producer surplus, the consumer surplus, and the total welfare. And we start off like we always do. We start with a market diagram with a supply curve and a demand curve. And we always do our best and try to label our market diagram. So we've got a price and a quantity. In this case, the quantity is going to be 500. That's our equilibrium quantity. And the equilibrium price is going to be 20. And there are two points I want to point out. The first one is right here where the demand curve hits the price axis. Let's call that a price of 25. And then there's the point where the supply curve hits the price axis. We're going to call that a price of 10. And now we're going to calculate the consumer surplus using the formula for the area of a triangle, which is just one half of the base times height. I made a little mistake there. I'm just going to use the editing magic and edit that out and restart. So the consumer surplus is equal to one half of the base times the height. And in this case, the base is going to be our quantity, our equilibrium quantity. And the height is the difference between the equilibrium price of $20 and the price where the demand curve hits the price axis. I'm going to call that P upper bar. So P upper bar minus PE. So that's going to be one half times 500 multiplied by 25 minus 20. Close that parentheses, start doing the math. So that's one half of 500 multiplied by 5. Let's take a calculator out, plug in some numbers here. Feel free to double check my math if you like. I'm getting that's uh, one half of 2,500, which is 1,250. And that, of course, is in dollars. Consumer surplus is measured in dollars. And we can shade in the consumer surplus on our diagram. And that's this area right here. Just so you can get a good visual, I'm going to shade in the area that represents consumer surplus. It is this triangle right here that's below the demand curve and above the price. So that's consumer surplus. We abbreviate that CS, and that area is $1,250. Next, we need to calculate the producer surplus, and it's done the exact same way, only we're finding a different area on the diagram. The formula is exactly the same. It's one half of the base times the height. And just like with the consumer surplus, the base is going to be the equilibrium quantity of 500. And the height is going to be the difference between the equilibrium price and the price where the supply curve hits the price axis. Now, if you're thinking about that, that's probably the shutdown price. So the difference between those two prices is 10. So one half of 500 times 10 should give us 2,500. Feel free to double check my math. Like before, let's shade that in on the diagram. That is the area below the price and above the supply curve. That green area is the, that green area is the producer surplus. That is the value that the producer gets from participating in this marketplace. Now, welfare or total welfare is the sum of the welfare for all of the individuals that are operating in this marketplace. In this case, we have two individuals, the consumer and the producer. So if we just add up the producer surplus and the consumer surplus and get 3,750, we know the total welfare in this market. And I will see you in the next video.